right, this is video number two. Um, we're still talking about um, secant lines and tangent lines intersecting. In the previous video, we talked about when they intersect either inside a circle or touching a circle. And now we're going to talk about how we figure out measures of angles when the lines intersect outside of a circle. So we've got three different possibilities here. Basically, both of our lines could be secant lines. So both of the lines cut through the circle and they intersect outside the circle over here. And they could cross and keep going. They just stopped it here at the intersection. One of the lines could be a secant and one could just be a tangent and brush past it, right? But they still intersect outside the circle. Or both lines could be tangent. So maybe neither one goes actually inside the circle. They both brush past the outside of the circle and intersect outside somewhere. So those are the three possibilities. However, to find angle measures or arc measures, we're going to find them the same way. Basically, for all of these, we want to figure out what the measure of this angle of intersection is right here. So either this guy or this guy or this guy. To figure out these angles here, all you're going to do is add the measure of the big arc. Sorry. You're going to subtract the measure of the big arc minus the little arc and then divide the answer by two. So big minus little divided by two gives you the angle. Same thing here. The big arc measure minus the little arc measure divided by two gives you this angle. Same thing here. The big arc measure minus the little arc measure divided by two gives you this angle. So it doesn't matter what kind of lines you have, if they intersect outside the circle and they're asking you for the measure of that angle, right? All you're gonna do is big minus little divided by two. Big minus little divided by two. Big minus little divided by two. And it might give you the measure of this angle and maybe not give you one of these arcs, but you'd still solve the same way, right? Just change the part that you're looking for. So let's do an example, kind of talk through it, and then we'll hop down and do some more examples um, a little quicker. All right, so here we want to know the measure of angle, <coughs> excuse me, the measure of angle P right here, this, this angle measure, okay? So we've got two arcs here. These are two secant lines, right? Um, and here, I'll do it in orange. And they create this arc and this arc, right? They kind of section those little areas off of our circle. So we're gonna do big minus little divided by two. So 34 minus 18 divided by two, and that's gonna give us the measure of our angle, right? And actually, when you name it, it's supposed to be angle MPN. I'm just kind of doing it quickly. We know we're looking for this angle right here. Okay, so 34 minus 18 is 26. 26 divided by 2 is 13. So the measure of angle... Oh, what did I do? 34 minus 20 is... F oh, 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 is 6... 16, sorry, not 26, sorry. This is 16. My fault. Duh. This is 16 divided by 2. So that gives us... Eight, my fault, glad I caught it. So the measure of this little angle right here is eight degrees, and you can check yourself, it gives you the answers right here. All right, so one half, the big arc minus the little arc. 34 minus 18 divided by two. 34 minus 18 is 16, divided by two is eight. So the measure of this skinny little angle right here when our two lines intersect is eight degrees. So let's do a few more examples. I've got six all together, so let's see if we can kind of hop through these. I'm gonna highlight the big arc in pink and the little arc in yellow for all of these. I'm gonna do it real quick. Boom. Oh yeah, we've got some good examples to work through here. One second. I'm visual, I gotta have colors everywhere. Sorry, those of you who aren't visual learners and you have to put up with me doing this, I'm sorry, I'm sure that's annoying. Okay, so for all of these, we're looking for this um, intersection angle right here. Okay, so for this, oh, I didn't highlight it yellow. For this one, we're gonna do 80 minus 40 divided by two. 
Big minus little divided by 2. 80 minus 40 divided by 2. 80 minus 40 is 40. 40 divided by 2 is 20. So the measure of this angle right here is 20 degrees. Okay? Number 2. Big minus little, pink minus yellow for every single one. So this big arc is 160. This little arc is 80. Divide it by 2, and that's going to give us our angle measure. 160 minus 80 is 80. 80 divided by 2 is 40. 40 degrees. Oh, sorry, I didn't know I did see that. 40 degrees. So our angle over here is 40 degrees. This angle right here. Okay, number three. All right, we've got this big arc. Now, when these two lines are tangent, it means we basically split our circle up into two arcs that are gonna add up to 360, right? If we have secant lines like here, we have an arc here, we have an arc here, and then we have all this extra arc we're not using. But when we have tangent lines, there's no arc we're not using. It's either all of this big arc or this little arc, right? So to figure out if it doesn't give you the size of one of the arcs, you know together they gotta add up to 360. So if this one's 220, this one has to be 140. <coughs> Excuse me, this yellow arc. Okay, once you figure that out, then it's still big minus little divided by two. So 220 minus 140 divided by two gives us our angle measure. 220 minus 120, is 100 minus 20 more is 80. So 80 divided by two equals 40. So the measure of this angle right here should be 40 degrees. Okay, number four, we've got two secant lines. Okay, uh, big minus little divided by two equals our angle. So it gives us the big arc. It does not give us the little arc. So we're gonna call that X. And it does give us the angle. So 70 minus whatever that little arc is, divided by two equals 20 degrees. And now I can solve for x just using algebra. So multiply both sides by two, 70 minus x equals 40. Um, add x to both sides. And then minus 40 from both sides. So the measure of the smaller arc there has to be 30 degrees. Okay, and last two. Number five, we've got two tangent lines again. So we've got this point right here, this point right here. Basically, the tangent lines separate our circle into two arcs that add up to 360. Okay, so in a situation like this, and you're going to come across this, they love to do this. They give us the angle here, but they don't give us either arc. So you're like, well, how do I solve for an arc if I don't know what the other one is, right? Well, I'm going to call one of them X. So I'll call the big pink one here X. And I know this guy and this guy have to add up to 360. So I'm going to call this one 360 minus X. All right, so now I can do big minus little divided by 2 equals 50. So I'm going to do X minus 360 minus X divided by 2 equals 50. I can't see that x minus the whole value of the other arc divided by 2 equals 50. Now I can simplify and solve with algebra. So I got to distribute that negative. So x minus 360 plus x divided by 2 equals 50. I'm going to get rid of this 2, so multiply both sides by 2 and get 100. I'm going to combine my two x's. So 2x minus 360 equals 100. Add 360 to both sides, 2x equals 460, and then divide both sides by 2, x equals 230. Okay, so now I know x is 230, right? This whole arc right here is 230, and if the pink arc is 230, and this yellow arc has to add up to 360 with the pink arc, then this one has to be 130. So this guy is 130. 
So it doesn't really matter which one it asks me for, now I found it. So when you label these, it doesn't matter which one you call x and which one you call 360 minus x, it doesn't matter. It'll come out right at the end, all right? And last one, um, number six here. We're looking for the measure of angle V, which is this guy down here. So big minus little divided by two equals this guy. All right, now I've gotta do some solving first because I don't know what this arc is. I don't know what this angle is, but I do know what the rest of the circle adds up to, right? So this is 110, 100, that's 210 together, plus 80, that's 290 together. So if this is all 290, what does this have to be to make it 360, right? 70 degrees. So this guy's 70, and now I can do big minus little divided by two equals my angle. 100 minus 70, divided by two equals, we'll just call it V. Oops. Okay, 100 minus 70 is 30. 30 divided by two equals 15. So the measure of angle V equals 15 degrees, this guy right here. All right, if you have questions on how to do this, let me know, go back and watch the video. It is pretty straightforward, but I know it's not stuff you do every day, so it's a lot to learn, especially, you know, all together, but it's not super difficult, so don't overcomplicate it. Remember that circles always add up to 360, so you're going to use that a lot when doing these kind of problems. All right, let me know if you have questions.